Age is just a number, really. If you're good enough, then why not? Dortmund's number seven, Jaden Sancho. He's a young chap with swag. I got swag, I trip. <laughs> Crazy skills on the pitch. Off the pitch, he's just enjoying life. If you don't know his face yet, just give him some time. I just want to be a player where people say I want him in my team. He's on the way up. Some say he's the best 17-year-old in all of European football. I'm Chris Harrington from Kickoff Life, so let's go meet Jaden Sancho, Dortmund's newest kid on the block. Ooh, what's up, baby? <laughs> <laughs> Jaden Malik Sancho. So you're only 17. Yeah. So your first football memory, what was it? Um, just playing on the streets, really, back at home in, in England. So yeah, just playing with my friends in the streets, playing little matches. That's my first memory, I think. How did it come to a point where you said, this is, this is it, I'm going to be a professional footballer? I think it was the people. Um, like my dad, people that are around me at the time, they said, if you're really serious about football, then you've got to make sacrifices. And then from that day, I've made a lot of sacrifices. Like I had to cut off some friends, um, obviously leave my family behind just to do what I love. So yeah, it's big things. Did you expect to be in a position like this? <laughs> no way. Nah, my mindset weren't big enough for this. So when did it change? What age did it actually change? Probably say last year, because I've done really well. Jaden got the Golden Player Award with England at the under 17 Euros. He had a foot in 10 of 15 goals. So I think that really changed that. I never knew that I would have won best player in the Euros, that that's a big thing. There's a lot of top players in Europe, so. When you win something like this, yeah, because that's a quite yeah, an accolade. It's, it's not an everyday thing, so it's one of the biggest achievements I've ever achieved. So. And do you think that that makes you work even harder, or do you feel like you? Nah, definitely work harder. It makes me work very hard. Because I know Mario Gotza won the same award when he played the Euros in the under-17s. A promising prospect from London, Jaden joined Manchester City in 2015. But his fast track to the first team wasn't fast enough. He posted parting words on social media, thanking the club. Now you're in the black and yellow, Esther Leva. Um, big question on everyone's mind, why Dortmund? Um, why Dortmund? I think that's obvious. They play a lot of young players. They have faith in a lot of young players. I think that's really good to develop as a player. So I think that's one of the reasons why I came to Dortmund, obviously. Plus, it's a good, good league, and obviously it's a, top, uh, it's a big club. So why not Dortmund? In January, Jaden started three matches and played well. An assist that month versus Berlin earned him an honor. Talk to me about this moment. Yeah, um, rookie of the month. Yeah, it's something new because in England, I don't think we have Rookie of the Month, so I think this picture just explains it all. It's me looking at the fans and it's, it's, just, it's a dream come true, really. So, yeah, I'm just blessed. All right. Really blessed. Do you feel like this is your time now, you know, being a young athlete? I think I could be a role model to people growing up, like, to say my age is, age is just a number, really. You know, so if you're good enough, then why not? So, yeah, especially in England. Obviously, people in England don't really leave the country until like they're like 22. I would say to anyone that's watching this that don't be afraid. Like, you're here for one reason: is to make it as a footballer. And obviously, you gotta take chances. Otherwise, okay. you, can't, you can't succeed. You know All what I'm right. saying? Yeah, well, of course. You, you of can't course. be the best if you don't take chances. So, yeah, I just want to be a player where people say. I want him in my team, and obviously, people like me for who I am. Nike liked Jaden enough to feature him in a London campaign that was everywhere in the city. Now, that was a Nike shoot. After that, because that was like kind of everywhere in London, obviously, people messaged me like, 
actually at this local bus stop. I was just like, whoa. Especially in my local area where I used to, where I grew up in, it's just a bit. It shows that if you stick to one thing, you can achieve so much things. So, right. So it's just working hard, really. Now for a little friendly fashion competition among teammates. All right. Now, um, and another thing too that, that I, I, I'm confused about in, in seeing how you dress today. So who's the best dressed player on the team? You are sitting next to him. I saw what you wrote because we had we sat here with Nuri, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then you're writing this. Mom, he knows I'm best dressed. That's why he knows you're best dressed. That's why he probably said it. That's why he laughed after he said it. That's why I said best dressed. <laughs> he knows already. Yeah, man. But I personally think I'm the best dressed in the same zone. Do you have the most swag? Because I see your pictures of you with the one that. I got uh... swag, I drip. <laughs> Are you feeling yourself? What do you mean? Like, you know, I, I told see, you, I'm just like, about to advise. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the Instagram videos, and you're also. Now, I usually take these videos after I have trim. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> trim means haircut. Trim means yeah, haircut. Haircut, haircut. Because I don't really get a trim often. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah but... Nah, um... Plus, I'm about good vibes, so people catch my vibe after I take these videos, so they like what I'm doing. How would you, in general, describe yourself? Fun, vibey, um, chilled. Okay. I, I just like good vibes only. I don't really like bad vibes, not me. Okay, um, first big purchase you bought when you got a real football check? Um, earrings, I mean, the earrings, the, the, I see the bracelet, I see I'm almost getting blind, I see the bracelet. <laughs> <laughs> nah, this is, this is the present. Um, probably my watch. It's a Rolex, like, my hand, too big. But. Nothing too big. No, <laughs> don't make it, I'm on camera. Legally, you can't drive yet in this country. Mm. But have you bought a car, or do you know what car? I've got a car coming on my 18th birthday. You got a car coming already? I start driving. Okay, and what, what is it? It's an E-Class. E-Class? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rams, what is it, what is it, any kind of, does it have swagged out or not? Is it standard, or what, what, you got a regular? This is on camera, so I'm not gonna make it sound <laughs> too mad. It's just normal E-Class. Back to the pitch, our conversation goes, and Jaden analyzes his skills. All right, now play football scout for a second. Jaden Sancho, his strengths, what are they? And then tell me about his weaknesses. Okay, my strengths, I would probably say skills, dribbling, um, and scoring, because I do score quite a lot. Well, when I'm my in age group, but now it's a bit difficult. Um, my weakness, I would probably say my left foot. I need a lot of improvement on my left foot. I think I could dribble more on my left and shoot more. I think it's right now, because I'm playing such a high level, I don't really use my left as much because I don't want to lose the ball or something like that. But I think as I get more comfortable into the team, I think I would just start using my left more, even now. Like the managers told me, everyone's told me that you need to start using your left for you to stay in this team. And I took it on board and now I'm training hard. Next, inspiration. I'm growing up with Ronaldinho, okay. obviously that's you know why, <laughs> it can speak for itself. Um, now is Neymar, I just like, he's just different, you know, he takes the mic out of people. Obviously it's not good, but it's just, he's just being himself, like he's expressing himself. I, don't, I think people are just, I wouldn't say scared, but they wouldn't do the things what he's doing right now. And I just think when you're different, you stand out more. And I like when people stand out because it's just something different. That you don't see that every day. Before I let Jaden go, I put the pressure on. All right, now I'm gonna put you on the spot, make a prediction. Will you score a goal this season? He scores a lot of goals. Yes, That's I will. The I will. I promise you, I will. All right. Thank you. A promised goal with many goals to go. In his teen age, Jaden has made it to the big stage.